Hi guys, welcome back to my video. Today I've got a super exciting one. I think this is probably my favourite video to film because it's one of my favourite brands and it is misguided. I mean look how big this bag is. <laughs> okay, so misguided very kindly sent me um, a few things. So I'm going to try them all on for you, let you know what I think of them and jump straight into it. So of course the first thing I wanted to show you is what I'm wearing. This is like a bardo style off the shoulder. Okay, so I've just realised you can kind of see my bra. <laughs> Ignore that. This is like an off the shoulder, one of my favourite types of top to wear at the minute. It's nice and flattering across the collarbone put a bit of shimmer on there and on the shoulders. It's got a tie waist as well. So this is just a plain white um, shirt slash top. Really light material, so nice and cool for in the summer months. And it is in, I think I got this in a size eight. It's in the petite range. So I might have got it in a 10, I can't remember. I'll put links to everything below. And it was, I believe, 25 pounds. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I, as I say, I will leave links to everything that I bought below so that you can go and check it out yourself if you're interested in getting it. Also, can I just mention whilst we're on the topic of what I'm currently wearing, this lipstick, how amazing is this colour? This is the perfect, in my opinion, the perfect orangey red for in the summer. This is Morocco by NYX. Um, yeah, I just love it. So I thought I would put on a bit of colour for a change. So I'm going to jump straight into this because there's so much to show you. As I say, I will be trying things on so you can see what they look like on me. I am a size 8 slash 10 um, and about 5 foot 5, 5 foot 6. So the first thing that I bought is more of a wintry piece, which I know it's not winter, but to be honest, it's really nice weather at the moment in England. It's, I think outside right now, it's about 26, 27 degrees, so I'm sweltering. Having said that, last week it was a thunderstorm, so it was probably about 12 degrees. So you just never know with this country, and to be honest with you, autumn's fast approaching anyway. I'm going away this, or August, I'm going away. So then when I get back, it's already getting into September. So I bought this camel coloured, nude coloured, tailored inverted collar coat in size 8, collar coat, collar coat, in size 8 in nude and it is just simple, for me less is more, I, I prefer things like this in my wardrobe, just basics that I can mix and match with other things that are also basics, so yeah as I said I'll show you what it looks like on, it's got this pretty hardware detailing, detailing on the sleeve, little silver zip, it's just going to be a staple, super warm coat for in the transition through to autumn when I perhaps don't need anything too heavy and big but it's a nice coat to just put over the top of um, a summer autumn outfit and um, yeah, really like that. Okay, so these next few items I got in the same print to mix and match or of course to wear as individuals themselves. So it's this print, it's like a nude floral design. Um, let me show you a bit close up what the pattern looks like. These are the shorts. They are tie waist cotton shorts. I got these in a size 8. They're £25 and they are to mix and match with this top which is um, tie shoulder floral print cami top in size 8. It says the colours peach. Again, as it says, tie on the top and it's the same print. So the model on the website does wear these together, but what I really liked about these three pieces is that you can mix and match them with just other items as well, or with, with each other. So there's the top, I've got the shorts, and then the bottoms, the colour bottoms in dusky pink floral outline printed, 25 pounds. I got the bottoms in a size eight, as I say, they are just these collot style. I really find this style quite flattering on my figure, um, where it's a tie, ray, tie waist and then a collot style where it just kind of falls. So yeah, those three are to mix and match and pair together, wear as separates with other items as well. To be honest with you, when I tried them on, I did think together they were maybe for me a bit too much. Maybe on holiday I can get away with it, but in England I think I'm 
be more likely to wear them as individuals, which is perfect really, because you get, you know, so many outfits in just a few pieces to mix and match with other things. So like that top, for instance, I think I really like that with my misguided vice high-waisted lace-up jeans, white ones. So um, yeah, they are to like mix and match as well. The next item is an accessory. It is a little uh, drawstring backpack in nude. Again, it's a very simple design, which is all what I like. I love minimal. I love neutral colors like this. I pretty much, I mean, if you look through my wardrobe, it's pretty much white, gray, black nude, and that's about it. <laughs> a few bits of maybe khaki or navy thrown in there. Other than that, so, yeah, this is going to be a perfect addition to my wardrobe. It was £25. Um, it's well made, really nice quality. It's got this at the bottom which like flattens it out. It's just a piece of the leather, which to be honest with you, I don't think adds much to it. I'll probably just throw that away. But yeah, simple design. This is big enough to fit my camera in, so if ever I go to blogger events or anything like that, like walking around town, sometimes it's nice when you're shopping to have like a little backpack so that you can really rummage through the shops, that's my little trick. Um, so yeah, I really like that and it'll be a good addition to a holiday as well. The next item that I bought, bought, bought is a bit more dressy, a bit classier. It's something that will maybe be more worn in the evening time and it's this play suit, this strapless play suit, which has a tie around the middle. Um, this is going to be quite hard to show you off, but has a tie around the middle. Let me try and do that up so you can see, which you'll be able to see better on anyway. Um, play suit, like, I think they describe it as a skirt style play suit. So it's shorts that kind of are disguised to be a bit like a skirt. Uh, it says it's in white. Again, with misguided, I find white can be either true white or slightly off-white. I'd say this is slightly off-white, but more creamy white. Um, this was £30, I think. There's no label on it, but I think it was £30. Again, I'll leave a link to it below. And I got it in a size 8. So it's got a little bit of a rubber band around the top so that it will stay up if you're a bit smaller chested like me. Then um, you won't have that problem of it slipping down or anything because it has got that rubber grip. So yeah, I really like that. I think it's quite an, maybe a bit more evening wear and a bit dressy. Still short, so a good summer holiday piece. Another good summer holiday piece that I picked up is potentially better suited to daytime. This is another play suit, if I can get it. Uh, strappy tassel floral play suit in white, size small, and it's high around the neck. It's got this tassel-y detailing on the front, goes into a tie drawstring waist, and the bottom with like these elephants along the bottom and like a floral pattern, again with the drawstring waist with the little like tassels to match these tassels at the top. It's like an Aztec print on it. Now, I was a bit confused with this because misguided, usually all their clothes I find are misguided and they're branded as misguided. However, this one, although it has a misguided tag on it, it actually has a label which says love and other things, size small. So I don't know what that's about, but um, either way, I really like it. I think it's a really light, uh, lightweight piece, perfect for wearing when it's hot. And like I said, I think I'm, I'm imagining this more like daytime abroad, uh, just walking around when it's not like a beach day or even when it is a beach day. Going into restaurants and things, it's just a little bit dressy while it's still being light because I get super hot. In fact, I'm really hot right now trying to film this video. Well, during in 27 degree weather with no air conditioning. <sighs> so moving on to the next piece, this is another blouse. It's the, it says shirt ruffle bardo blouse in blue, size eight, 20 pounds. I believe there are three colors in this. Now I got this in a size eight and it's got like tie waist and tie um, around the arms as well. And it's bardo style, so across the shoulder. This is quite big for me. So I'm not usually, like I'm a size eight to 10 and misguided sizes, as you know, like do come up slightly bigger. But across the top, you need it tight enough to fit a bit like this top, but you know, so it won't fall down or anything. This I'm a bit worried might drop a little bit just because it is quite loose fitting. Having said that, I haven't worn it out yet, out and about, so I will try and let you know what I think. 
so this is for me in a size 8, a little bit big, could have probably got away with a 6, um, but then the tie waist and the tie sleeves do fit fine. So something to maybe bear in mind if you want to pick this up and you're unsure about sizes, I'd probably recommend sizing down. I love the colour, it's really pretty, really girly, really feminine, quite classy and another staple for my wardrobe. This next item is a good piece that will transition quite nicely I think into autumn because it is a jumper. It is a um, open weave jumper in white, size small, £20 and as you can see it's like this thick knit but like, how can I describe this? It's kind of see-through, so the, the holes in it, the knit is quite large. So I'd probably wear like a cami underneath or a pretty bralette or something like that. And it is a good piece that I'll probably get a lot of wear out of moving into the autumn months when it's a bit cooler. And um, yeah, really like it. It's a good staple. I love white, everything white I love. So when I got this, I was like, yes, really like it. It's a nice length as well, a bit cropped that you could tuck it in with jeans. The next item is some jogger bottoms. They are washed, laced up waist joggers in nude in size eight. They were 18 pounds and I love the lace up detailing as well as the like washed effect. I don't know if that's coming up on camera but it's kind of like um, as if it's really worn and, and quite dated. <laughs> But I really like them. I think these will be a good piece to wear like to the airport and traveling and around about the house. They're really comfortable. I love high-waisted things. I think it's just A, more flattering, B, more comfortable. And just in general, I just tend to head towards high-waisted things in jeans and joggers. I just think the fit's a bit more flattering on my body shape. These do fit really nice. I love them. And again, love the colour, so these are definitely going to get a lot of wear from me. The next item are uh, some trousers which are a, of like a satin material. Again, a nude coloured, uh, they, they say they're satin wide leg trouser in champagne, size 8. These were £25. They're tailored, so they're really nice fitted. Um, they kind of hit me right at the nice, like they're tight along the waist. They fit around my thighs and then they drop really nice. They did have a matching top, which I'm going to keep my eyes out for because they didn't have any left in stock. So I'm keeping my eye out for when they, when that top is back in stock. It's just a simple, plain, like, bandeau top in the same material, which I love. Like, as a two-piece, I think that looks so nice. So I really want to get my hands on that. Uh, I think with Misguided, you can... Um, click on like remind me when back in stock or even just when you go online on the home page you can see new in and they also have a back in stock section so I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for that um but yeah they just didn't have any in stock so unfortunately I didn't get the top but I did get these and I really like them love the material I think the quality is quite good for you know for the price that you pay with these these are definitely going to be more evening and I really like them okay so the next is like a trusty piece in my wardrobe I have quite a few of these they are the vice high-waisted jeans and they're the ones that lace up at the front the difference with these is that instead of just being black denim they are black leather look so I have a pair of black leather look trousers for like winter, autumn, winter, but they, they're not high waisted enough to be comfortable to go out for food in and everything. I just feel, I always feel a bit like, ugh, like constrained in them. These, because they're so high waisted and the fit of them is really nice and I know that because I love these vice jeans by Misguided and when they have the lace up ones in particular, really like these. So. I'm usually like a size 10 on the bottom. I always get these in a size 8 because they fit my waist really nicely, yet they still give around the thigh, leg and bum area. So um, as soon as I saw that these were back in stock in the leather, I picked them up straight away. So again, I will link them below and hopefully they'll be in stock for, for you if you're interested in getting them. These are well worth getting. I honestly couldn't recommend them enough. I literally have them in camel, denim, white denim, 
blue denim, black denim, now in black leather as well. If they had them in white leather, I would get them. Like, I just love these and they're such a good staple for your wardrobe. Okay, so this is sadly the last item. I think this is a really good haul. Like, I love everything that I got. Very rarely will I find everything that I like. But in this one, I really do. And this last one is, again, another good staple to have. It's a bit different for me. It's nothing like I've got already. It is a gathered cami vest in ivory, 15 pounds, which I think is really good value for the quality. I got it in a size UK 8, and it is just this simple cami top, which is, it's not cropped, but it's cut at a nice length to like cut across your hips. And it's got this really pretty ruched detailing at the top, which for someone like me, because I'm a bit smaller on top, it just gives that extra bit of shape to, so to like kind of balance out my hips. What I'm also intending on doing with this one is the straps are so easily tucked in, so you can wear it as like a strapless top as well. I do like it with the, I do, I think I prefer it with the straps to be completely honest with you, with the, the style and the fit and everything. But yeah, in, for £15, I think this is a really good staple. I think they do it in a couple of other colours as well. So definitely, if you're interested in checking that out, then do look down below for the links to that. I will link everything that I can find below. And of course, this top as well. And if you have any other suggestions for future videos that you want to see me do, just put a suggestion down below. Give it a big thumbs up if you like misguided hauls, because I love filming them. And misguided is... It's literally one of my favourite shops to shop online, so do let me know what you think, and I will see you again next time. Bye, guys. Definitely, if you're interested in, in getting that, I, oh, god, dog, just let me know. Just pop, pop. I can't. I literally can't talk today. <laughs>